Okay, I'm here with Piyush Prasad, who's Head of Product Management for Digital Lifestyle at Mahindra Conviva. Piyush, we're talking about Mudit Digital Store. Can you tell me a little bit about it and what impact it will have on the content market? Sure. So Mudit Digital Store is a marketplace, which is actually a meeting place for the content publisher and the content buyer, addressing to a very much need, which is to get a content provider, earn revenue out of his content and get global. Because today it's practically impossible for him to have operations in multiple countries as the infusion of all the data, the technology is, is uh, setting across the globe, due to which now it is possible for him to monetize sitting in maybe in the cans, he's just publishing, he's creating a content publishing over the Moodle Digital Store. So what actually happens, so any publisher who comes into it, he has to just publish a content over here. Then it comes to a strong team. We are having an internal team in the Mahindra Com Viva who audit and make sure that it is a unique content altogether. When it is ready for publishing, then there's a con there, there are a lot many people who are trying to make a services out of it globally, uh, which is a mobile operator, DTH player, as I just said about the broadcasters, IPTV provider, application provider, enterprises, and host of other small application and uh, uh, maybe for the enterprises also, that's how they are making a services out of it. And uh, out of this, uh, they are free to choose the content as per, their, as per their target segment to whom for they want to make a digital services out of it. Once they do so, uh, they don't have to do it. They have to just come pick up the content from here, make, a, make it uh, sync with their services and make it live. We, we make sure that the, whatever the monetization happen from the content uh, distributor or the service maker is gone back to the artist who is actually creating the whole plethora of the content. So this is uh, in brief about uh, what I say as a digital content store. What kind of content do you see as being in demand and where is the growth coming from? I think it actually has changed a lot. The landscape as what we project is the, the growth is happening faster than what we have been projecting across the globe. Uh, if we have to see closely, although a lot many data analysts and partners and everybody says that yes, it is growing at a 70%, having a CGR of 30%, but it's, it's beyond that. There are a lot many people due to the technology, uh, due to the high-end devices, uh, due to various uh, service creation environment, they can create their own content. And just to be acknowledged, in the near uh, show community, it's better to get it published over here and make it as a bigger success together altogether. So that's what I see. So probably uh, by the year 2020 will be reaching. So everything will be a digital content and a uh, lot many things will be shifting towards that. Looking at local content specifically, how will local content providers benefit? I think they are getting the most uh, traction out of it. If we talk about today, there is a world which is known as a personalization of the services. Uh, local artist is creating a personalized and a localized content. So these are the two trademark or a hallmark which says the personalization, localization, so as to make a globalization. So through this Moody Digital Store, a local artist, maybe I can say uh, he's sitting in some remote part of the world. Maybe let's say uh, he's sitting in India and has He's having a lovely voice. He has created a song which he sang in some festival, or now he is hiring a small studio so as to make it more uh, uh, likable by the people by doing certain mixing and other thing. He just upload over there. Once it is uploaded, we, we find it as a uh, content which can be published. So then we will be making it available to the service provider. And there are a plethora of people across the globe. As anyhow, we see the app stores are uh, bursting like anything, digital contents are bursting like anything, the ebooks and other spaces are evolving very high. So it is going to be uh, for him, you don't know who is going to be your buyer, but yes, you will definitely have a buyer across the globe who is looking for the exact content like your, which is personalized and localized. How specifically does Moodit Digital Store meet the challenges of content discovery and, and distribution? If to talk about that, uh, how they are meeting the content discovery, yes, it is a single store, it's a marketplace. That's how we see. Uh, we are already in discussion with major partners across the globe 
I won't be able to name it over here because we are still in a discussion mode. But yes, they have shown a confidence into the same concept. Uh, similarly, we have even gone to the lowest level, uh, to the local artist level at various parts of the world because anyhow, as a Mahindra Conviva, we are present in uh, almost 90 countries with 130 operators and uh, content is one space where we are the, one of the leading providers uh, across the globe. Uh, seeing that, I definitely believe that yes, uh, uh, as we are working on this very hard day and night, it is definitely going to become such a big uh, that yes, the local artists will be getting the lot fraction out of it. Uh, even the organized sectors, which is a branded content from any of the name you say, they will be also getting into the new territories which be, they may have not even thought about. Uh, it is quite possible uh, some X company is just making a content for uh, the limited group till now and through their sales channel they are selling it. But if they come over here, uh, it is quite possible some somewhere in uh, Sheshil, some IPTV provider want to make it as a programming for him. That is a big opportunity which he may have never even thought about. But yes, that is how he is going to get global out of this. How does Moodit Digital Source support the sustainability of the wider content ecosystem and things like growing consumer trust? Of course, I think it's a very uh, nice question and uh, we have came across so many people when we are doing a discussion with uh, the branded content providers, the producers, the publishers, the distributors, everybody is ha having the same concern. Keeping that in view, so we are making a very transparent system altogether through an Amoura Digital Store, wherein once they can see every movement which is happening, the, ones, the moment they have logged in, they have registered into, as a partner into a system, they can upload the content, they know when it's getting approved, in case it is getting rejected, what's the reason, valid reasons are there. Uh, movement it adds to the next value chain wherein the people who are looking for similar content so he's having a full control to choose for which content which for which region which country he want to publish the content uh, so only there we are publishing and uh, anyhow for doing all this thing we need to have a robust system so one is a technology so that is what we are taking care of and we have put a, a very fruitfully like a DRM protection is there IPR content is totally protected because then we are talking about the local artists and the branded, so everybody is concerned about that. Uh, then the once the content has been picked by any of the uh, service provider who want to make a services out of it, then there is a proper reporting which is happening. And uh, once that reporting is happening, uh, both the content provider and the content publisher, they can see their respective report. Every day content partner knows that what sort of a content he is selling and what, what he is going to get uh, at the end of the month. So that is, that is the level of trust we are creating in the whole ecosystem. Uh, having a transparent system, upload, uh, you know who is buying you. Uh, once they buy, you know how much it is getting consumed. Once it is consumed, then the essential part is to realize it also. And then we are finally giving them payment back to the publisher. So that is how we are trying to make sure that uh, the robustness of the system is there with utmost uh, security and the uh, data protection part.